Since Islam was introduced in the 15th century, Kosovo's Muslims have practiced a moderate faith. But that changed after Kosovo's War of Independence ended in 1999. Saudi Arabia was accused of spreading Wahhabism, the conservative brand of Islam dominant there. In 2015, journalist Visa Duki uncovered a network of ideological training camps in Kosovo. They were led by Muslim clerics funded by Saudi Arabia, who pushed Wahhabi teachings. There was more than 50 young people underage, like under 18, who had been brainwashed in this camp, and some of them uh, died fighting for ISIS too. Among those allegedly funded by the Saudis was Ekrem Avdiu, an imam in Kosovo's northern city of Mitrovica. He was arrested on charges of encouraging others to join terror groups and inciting hatred through religion. Those charges were eventually dropped. First of all, radicalism is not a shame. Me and my friends have been falsely accused of this. My major concern is not what I say or write, but rather how people interpret my teachings. I could be misunderstood, but that's how the world works. In 2014, police charged 67 people, arrested 14 imams and shut down 19 organizations, most of whom with alleged links to Saudi funding. They were accused of going against the constitution, inciting hatred and recruiting for terrorism. Some were sentenced up to 10 years in prison. The end of the Kosovo war was supposed to bring a time of healing, but instead parts of the country took a radical turn and embraced fundamentalism. Officials here have told us that more than 250 Kosovans have gone to Syria to join Daesh, the highest on a per capita basis in Europe. Turkey hopes to prevent any more bloodshed. It strengthened its relationship with Kosovo and funded the construction of Pristina's central mosque. Turkey has been continually supportive, not only in helping building mosques after the war, but in terms of providing aid and health care. Turkey is one of the country's largest aid donors. Ankara says its goal is to help rebuild Kosovo and avoid the violence that has plagued many post-conflict countries. Omar Kablan, TRT World, Pristina, Kosovo.